Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how I stay organized throughout my shift. So this is a Cardex, and with this Cardex, I create my brain sheet. Yes, my brain. It stays with me throughout the whole entire shift. Now, uh, some facilities use this, others don't. My facility does, so I had to figure out the best method for me to stay organized throughout my 12-hour shift. Disclaimer, this is my method, which works amazing for me. It does not work for everybody, so you take what you can from this video, run with it, skip with it, shoot, have a ball with it, but stay organized throughout your shift. <laughs> So cardexes are used to pass on information from one nurse to the other. This does not go in the patient's file. This is just for nurses to use and discard once the patient uh, is discharged. So the cardex contains information about the patient that's pertinent to them, such as their name, the diagnosis, the doctor, also any history, you know, quick, simple things that you can collect that you don't necessarily have to go digging through the charts for. So usually I get my assignment and I get my cardex and we go through the cardex from day shift nurse to night shift nurse and we run through all their information displayed here. So most nurses like to read verbatim, others don't, but this is a good way of passing information down. So once we have gone through all the pertinent information that has to do with the patient, their day, their labs, what diet and anything else, then we go look at the patient. Once I've received a report for all six patients, I go around with the day shift nurse, I go look at my patient, and then I come back and I make a photocopy of the cardex. Now I make sure that when I photocopy the cardex that the image is shrunken and it's at about 78%, so that way I can write on the outer edges of the cardex. So yes, this is what my cardex looks like. I know, very colorful. I told y'all that's how I do it. There is a method to the madness, trust me. So yes, everything is color coded and the colors are significant. So what you see in yellow, highlighted in yellow, are the patient's name, what the diagnosis is, and the room number. Why I chose yellow, I first go to those areas because that's how I can differentiate between the different patients and not get confused. Anything highlighted in green is anything different from the norm. So you see how the diet is ADA rather than regular. So I colored it in green so that I know that they're not on a regular diet. The ACHS is circled because it's just indicating that this patient has uh, blood sugars before bed and uh, before meals. I make sure to write both the generic and the brand name. Most patients know their medications by the brand name. I do not wanna get confused and I do not wanna make the patient think that I do not know my medications, so I write both names down. Next, I write the dosage. Is it five milligrams, 10, 100, whatever the dosage is, I just write it down because some patients are nitpicky and they wanna know exactly how much they get, so I make sure to write that down. Right there you see a dash with uh, blood pressure and heart rate. Whenever you're given a heart medication, uh, whenever you're given insulin, whenever you're given any medication that requires you checking blood pressure or checking respiration, I just make sure to allot space to that. So that way I can notate what the blood pressure was before I gave the medication. And that way I kind of double check to make sure that I'm dosing them correctly for the medication they need. Right under the medication, I write what the use of the medication is, what the medication does, and I circle it, and I put it in layman's term, not something super um, complicated, only nurses know, nope, I just put it, it's for increased blood pressure, then I move on to the next med. Now you see for platonics, I put underneath the 40 milligrams IV push, because that's a different method, it's not PO, so I don't forget, I just put the method in which I'll be given the medication. As well with insulin, I also leave a space so I can write down the blood sugar and right next to it, I would write the unit that I'm going to give. In red, I like to put what the maintaining fluid, if they have any, is. So this patient has normal saline running at 100. I just put it down right there, quick and simple. So in green, you see that I have morphine and Zofran. Now, some patients are pain seekers and I just wanna make sure that I'm on top of their pain medication. So I write down their PRN meds and the dose and when last I gave it. 
Next, I look at the orders. So whatever orders are for tonight, whatever orders are for the next day, I make sure to write them down. So that way, when I go in to assess my patients, I let them know their itinerary. And then I have a box so I can check it off when that order is completed. So this is what another Cardex would look like. Obviously, this patient has a lot more going on. So that's why there's a lot more medications. There's a lot more stuff highlighted, but it is still the same. The color codes are still there to help me know what maintenance dose I'm giving, what, uh, what is different from the norm, such as the patient having a Foley, having a post-op surgery, um, having a one to two orientation. Once I have gone through my charts, made all the notations I need to make, I fold my cardexes in three and I staple them together. That way it can go with me throughout my entire shift and I can put it in my pocket. When I go and assess my patient, I make sure that I write down what time I went in to assess my patients. Being that I do not have a computer with me on the go, I have to go back and chart once I'm done. So this is just a way for me to stay organized to make sure I have gone through all that I need to do with that patient. So I'll write down pertinent stuff like the patient, when the last time the patient had a bowel movement, if the patient are in any pain, um, if anything that is specific to my unit, uh, I make sure that I write those down as well. If I happen to pay to the doctor or speak to a doctor, I make sure to write that down because trust me, you will forget to chart it because the doctor will give you orders. You'll put those orders in and start to uh, go and do those orders and you forget. So quick, easy way is I write those orders down. If I call them and they, they called back, I write that down and it just helps my documentation be more accurate and complete. This is what my cardex looks like when it is filled out. As you can see, my PCA took my vitals and my blood sugar, so I have the information ready for me. As my shift goes by, I make sure to cross out what I've already done and what I've documented because if it was not documented, it was not done. So yep, that's it. This, this is my brain and this is how I stay organized. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was informative. And if you need other videos like this, let me know. This is what I use. And when I tell you I found this method that works for me, I've not gone back. So yeah, give it a try and let me know what you think and what methods do you use uh, that a new grad like myself can use. All right, so be sure to subscribe and say hi and I'll be back next time with another video.